Hi everybody, today we're going to discuss oropharyngeal cancer staging. For a brief review of the anatomy, the oropharynx is everything posterior to the tip of the hard palate, to the level of the hyoid bone, and dorsally to the level of the spine slash prevertebral soft tissues. So that encompasses the lingual tonsil, which is the tongue base, the palatine tonsils, the squamous mucosa lining all of the oropharynx, portion of the soft palate and uvula posterior to the tip of the hard palate, as well as the vollecula, the space between the tongue base and the epiglottis. So basically we're looking at everything in here. Oropharyngeal cancer staging is the TNM stage. The T is the primary tumor, and this is measured in terms of less than or greater than two centimeters, less than or greater than four centimeters, and invasion of the adjacent structures. The lymph nodes, are NX, which means not assessed, 0, 1, 2, or 3, having to do with lymph node size and location, and distant metastases, which are usually determined on full body PET scan or other imaging. Example 1, we have a mass involving the right palatine tonsil. It measures 2.4 centimeters in maximum dimension. That's in craniocaudal dimension. If we look in the area of the usual suspects, we have necrotic right level 2 and 3 lymphadenopathy, though each of these lymph nodes is less than 3 centimeters, and distant METs are not assessed on this CT scan. So using our TNM staging, we have a mass which is greater than 2 centimeters. We have right level 2 slash 3 necrotic lymphadenopathy, which is less than 3 centimeters, distant METs not assessed. So our final staging is T2, N2B, MX. Example two, we have a mass involving the base of tongue, aka lingual tonsils. It measures approximately 3.2 centimeters in transverse diameter, which is its maximum dimension. There were no lymph nodes by size criteria. This level two lymph node measures 1.1 centimeters in short axis, and it's allowed to be up to 1.5 per R criteria, and distant METs were not assessed on this exam. So if we use our TNM stage, the tumor is greater than two, but less than four centimeters in greatest dimension, no lymph nodes, and distant METs not assessed. So our staging is T2 N0 MX. For case three, we have a mass involving the lateral wall of the right oropharynx. Easier to see on this coronal view, you see this thickening along the lateral wall as opposed to nice smooth mucosa on the left side. Here's the tonsillar pillar above it. And on this coronal view, you can also see there are some adjacent necrotic lymph nodes, level two right here, down towards level three. And on the axial view, you can see that subtle thickening of the lateral wall of the oropharynx. So this tumor in the right lateral oropharynx measures less than two centimeters in maximum dimension. You have necrotic right level two slash three nodes, but they measure less than three centimeters each. And on a PET CT that was performed, there were no distant metastases. So using our TNM staging, the primary tumor is less than two centimeters. We have lymph nodes that are less than three centimeters, and we have no distant metastases. So our final staging would be T1, N2B, M0. Example four, on this CT scan, we see necrotic left level two lymph nodes extending to level three. The largest measures greater than three centimeters in its maximum dimension, but none of them measure greater than six centimeters. We don't see a primary lesion on these images evaluating all of the oropharynx, but at the lung apices, we see a mass that looks like it could possibly a metastatic lung nodule. So right now we have a TX tumor. We are not sure where the primary tumor is, but we have lymph nodes greater than three centimeters, but not greater than six centimeters. And we have at least one distant metastases. So with unknown cancer, we do the PET scan. And on second look, we see uptake within the uvula slash soft palate. So this uvula is actually the primary source of the tumor. It measured approximately 1.7 centimeters in maximum diameter.
So our final staging after the PET CT is T1, N2B, M1. Thank you for your attention. Thanks to everyone for tuning into this video on oropharyngeal cancer staging. We've got a couple of other videos coming up on nasopharyngeal cancer staging and laryngeal cancer staging, so be sure to tune back in to those. If you haven't seen the other videos on the site, be sure to check out LearnerRadiology.com and the YouTube channel. Check out those videos and uh, be sure to come back. Like and subscribe uh, so you get notifications when these videos come out. Thanks, everyone.